So hopefully this medium size will fit me, no? See. See, you move move your head. Uh and you're more good. Okay. See, you cheeks mo. That's the right fit. Tapos kailangan na wala ng pressure points dito. Wala naman ako na naman pressure. Ito wala rin. So you're medium. Tapos uh, ganun mo. Oh, yung cheeks mo gumagalaw. Yan ang proper fit. This is the proper Marami sa atin hindi alam ang proper fit eh. Akala yung proper fit, uy, komportable yun na. Hindi. Dapat pag suot mo, hindi siya komportable. After a few rides, magmumold na yan. Dapat ganun talaga. So, importanteng importante ang fit ng helmet. Sound check na, no? sound check. Kahit wala tayong mic. Gamit lang natin yung GoPro. Oh, di ba? Nice. What's up, guys? Nandito tayo ngayon sa warehouse ng KYT. Andito tayo ngayon sa kotse kasi hindi tayo nagmotor ngayon dahil wala pa tayong helmet. I mean, may helmet tayo pero no, it's not the helmet that's gonna keep us protected for the the rides that we're gonna be undertaking in the near future. And definitely, it's not as technology packed as some of the helmets and stuff we're gonna be featuring in a few moments. Right now, we're just waiting for Tito Iñaki, Iñaki Jose. Iñaki Jose. The presenter of Ride in Tandem. He's going to be introducing us to the guys here at KYT and Alpine Star. So again, many many thanks. Tito Nyaki, napalupit mo. Inagahan ko talaga para hindi umaram daman alita ko. Pero yeah, we'll be introducing you to Tito Nyaki. If you don't know him, he has a show up on YouTube and on Facebook. Ride in Tandem. They are also found in the Perfect Drive magazine together with Asek, Ricky, Alegre. But anyway, tambay lang tayo muna dito sa kotse. I just messaged him. Sabi ko, sir, hindi na po. Hopefully, we can unbox something. Do a walkthrough, check out what they have, something new that they have to offer. Maybe we can get an exclusive unboxing. And then naman na tayo. I'll upload it again. Promise, pagaganon. Let's go. So there's our guy, Tito Nyaki. Tito Nyaki. What's up guys? We're here with Tito Iñaki of Ride in Tandem. We are here at the KYT headquarters to unbox the KYT TT course. So Tito Iñaki, what can you tell me about KYT? Well, KYT kasi marami akong helmet. No? Marami akong nagamit na helmet. In that course, from expensive ones to cheap ones, sinusubuhan ko kasi eh, from that course of uh, riding so many years, naghahanap ako ng helmet na functional and comfortable. So, hindi na yung brand. I'm way past that point. And then uh, someone introduced me to KYT back in 2016. He bought a KYT here because he forgot his helmet in Bacolod and there was a ride here. I went to Bacolod, I forgot my helmet, and he let me use a KYT. And after that, you're done. I looked for them specifically. They did not come to me, I went to them. Because I really like the comfort, not, not so much of the style. But for me, talaga, it's the comfort and the fit. So now, fast forward, I'm a brand endorser of KYT and I'm very, very happy with KYT. Especially with the TT course. The TT course is probably the most popular helmet model right now. I'd say it has probably 70% of the market. Not only that, KYT intentionally reduced the price. Sa ibang bansa, paano na 6,000 to eh, TT course. Pero dito, binenta nila ng 3,7. Kasi KYT, it is already a necessity. It is a necessity. It's a helmet that will guarantee your protection. So, binagsak nila yung presyo dito sa Pilipinas ng 3.7 para maabot. I like how you said that this is 3.7 because ako, I just purchased my first big displacement bike with the Duke 390. And at that price, I think this is a good helmet to really pair up with that bike, no? Yeah. So, shall we get unboxing? Wait. Ito, this is the limited edition TP course, ha? This is the new design. It's called the Waru Philippines. KYT has its own production line specifically for the Philippine market and we have our own design Philippine design so wala ito sa ibang bansa dito lang and this is the newest go ahead sabi nila if you're familiar though with KYT helmet boxes usually uh, glossy siya so with this special edition it comes with the matte box yes so there we go so, box pa lang yeah, may brand new <laughs> sa ng bagong helmet so, so with the box it comes with this protective cardboard and also the manual. Read the manual. Learn to read the manual. And also another protective styrofoam to keep the helmet in its proper place. Dito, Iñaki, will you do the honor? So, napaganda ng kanyang protective case. 
It comes in another protective case, a styro cloth. Wow, it, it looks... Wow! <laughs> warrior na warrior ng dating! See? Others now, the other helmet of KYT, na Philippine edition, the Philippine flag dito. But this is the, the limited edition. Uh, and I like the design, it's yeah, very Filipino, aero. Filipino. Iba yung mga tattoo ng mga warrior natin. So right off the bat, as you can see, uh, we have here a thermoplastic, yeah. thermoplastic, thermoplastic construction on the helmet. Uh, we have Lexan on the front glass. So you're sure na hindi to basta basta bibigay with rock chips and with crashing as well. Sometimes with other brands, my eyes medyo mataas. And as all of you know, I ride a sport bike every day. So next train ko. So with KYT, yung eyes ko nandito sa gitna. Tapos yung weight pa niya at saka yung entry, hindi siya exaggerated na katulad ng ibang helmet na. So ito, pag yung makakap ko sa'yo, ang ganda talaga. Tsaka yung KYT na pansin ko may extra unan dito sa work. <laughs> yung iba wala, nandun lang isang buong pad lang ito. Talaga yung pinag-aralan. And as all of you know, before it became KYT, the factory that's producing KYT helmets were producing race helmets for other brands. Hindi ko na lang sasabihin kung ano, pero I'm sure meron na kayo alam. <laughs> I can see there's a lot of vents. How would you say is uh, the ventilation for these helmets? Quite? Ventilation, sakto lang. Kasi with strong ventilation, that's a lot of wind noise inside. It's the either or. Eh. It's either you have strong ventilation but the wind noise is maingay or you have a quiet one na may naman sa loob. Sakto lang kayo. Eh. Yung ventilation niya sa ulo lang. So what really speaks to you when you see this helmet? Anong pinaka favorite mong design features na nakikita mo? Design talaga eh. It's, it's very Filipino. It's very, very Filipino. Itong designer na ito, contracted by KYT, his famous designer from Thailand. Yung race helmet ni Marvin for the PSBK, siya rin ang nag-design. Hayop! Di ba? Filipino-Filipino! Now this is the limited edition TT. I really like it. For the price of 3,700, I did not know na you can get a helmet with these features. I really like this design. It's cantilever, it's very aerodynamic. If you were to sit on your sport bike and have your head angled like this, this provides a very good way for the air to yes. be able to peel off your helmet and not add additional strain to your neck when going at very high speeds. I also see that there are ventilation holes over here in the back. Much like in the design of the supercars, you'll see yung sa malikod nila, yung exhaust nila, yung basically engine compartment, nakikita nyo, meron na silang mga mesh dito sa area na to if, you, if this was a car. And that adds to its ability to cool the unit itself to let the air pass through. I can see that there are vents over here, movable vents at the top. And I believe that they channel the air towards the back through these back vents. Also, we have vents over here at the front, right at your forehead. And also, the standard vents here at your chin. Is compatible ba to dito niyaki sa yung mga radio set? Yes. Yes, lahat naman. Ito, meron siyang abang. It's pretty standard no, on all KYTs. Uh, what I like about all KYTs are the ECE rated. They're not just DOT rated. Department of Transportation of the US. ECE is European. It's, it has higher standards. When I say ECE, the standards for all European countries is lang. The testing is tougher. So instead of just going for DOT para lang makabenta dito or ICC, ECE ito. So hopefully this uh, medium size will fit me, no? Pita niya akin. See, see, you move, move your head. Ah, uh, kaya mo kaya mo. Okay. See, gumagana yung cheeks mo. That's the right fit. Tapos kaya nga na wala ng pressure points dito. Wala naman ako na hindi mo na pinto wala rin. So you're medium. Tapos ah, uh, ganun mo. Oh, yung cheeks mo gumagano. Yan ang proper fit. This is the proper Marami sa atin hindi alam ang proper fit eh. Akala yung proper fit, uy, komportable yun na. Hindi. Dapat pag suot mo, hindi siya komportable. After a few rides, magmumold na yan. Dapat ganun talaga. So, importanteng importante ang fit ng helmet. Kasi kung hindi, hindi siya fit mula sa EPS, nagkaroon ng space, pag mag-bounce o sa impact, yung helmet ang babatok sa ulo. So important yun. That's a good note because I didn't know na ganun pa lang proper yes. helmet. And this one also has, uh, uh, well, most of K the KYT helmets have uh, provisions for eyeglasses. So see how light it is? It's very light. So you're to, you, your eyes are in the middle. That's I really like the, the field of vision. Yeah. Laki, laki, laki field of vision. I could imagine if I were 
in this position yeah. I would really hindi hindi ako nas, yeah. hindi ko kaya kailangan ko sa jacket mo hindi na si strain yung wala yung sakto lang yung uh, ano hindi OA iba kasi OA ah yeah. ba ano yung spoiler eh hindi na functional di ba very nice I like I like the fit medium pala ako medium ka. medium pala let's talk about the buckle okay the buckle is all KYTs that are right here are D rings there are a lot of buckles na quick release quick quick strap or ano they're okay but pag plastic na uupod yung ipin so pag mag slide ka minsan natatanggal yung helmet D ring pag racing bawal ang quick release sa racing kailangan naka D ring so all of the KYT helmets that arrive here are D ring except for the open face yung open face iba naman eh yung bakel nun uh, parang bakel lang military <laughs> Hindi ba sa basta natatanggal? Hindi siya quick release na may ipin. So the end uh, secures very well so hindi siya mag-flap around while you're riding. Very nice design. And when you take it off, you just pull this. There's a tab. This one. This. Yeah, you pull to your right. Yeah, ah. Then, yeah. So it's pretty standard, you know. And it's very nice construction. I really like it. It's chrome. It's very it's smooth. Chrome. Walang mga... Ito mga sharp edges. Other helmets. Okay, nangangalawang yan. Di, hindi ko nagsabihin ko anong brand. Pero ang dami nangangalawang yan. Yun ang problema ko to. And I like how the pull tab is red in color, making it very easy to find if you're someone that's trying to get the helmet off of someone in an emergency situation. So very nice design. So let's check out the other helmets. I'm seeing a very nice box come in. <laughs> I have that. Limited edition number. Full carbon. Why don't we... I yeah. think that one is worth an unboxing as well. Let's try it. Let's try it. I have that. So this is the NZ Race. NZ Race. Moto3 Rider. KYT Rider is uh, Lorenzo Dallaport. Became champion 2019. To commemorate that championship, he was using a KYT Leopard design, the blue one. To commemorate his championship, KYT made 2,500 of these helmets. NZ Race is triple carbon. It's a full carbon helmet. And this is the replica of the FIM helmet of Lorenzo Dallaporta. So go ahead. Mahilig talaga ako mag-keep ng box. So for me, this is a big plus. Having a very nice box. It comes with the additional padding. This one has two of the cardboard supports. It has it comes with an extra visor which is padded as well inside. We're not gonna take it out because uh, we'd like the owner to have that in pristine condition. Again, another manual. But this one, this one, look at this. This one has a plate of authenticity. So for all you guys that are that love limited edition, to have one of those pieces that are finite in amount. Wow! This one is uh, number 744 out of 2,599. What I have is 595. It's very nice. It has a signature of Lorenzo de la Porta, the championship rider that rode this in Moto3. So with no further ado, let us bring out the helmet. So it comes in a more premium wrap with it. Let's just be extra careful as this is a finite number. <laughs> I love this helmet. Sabi ko nga hindi ko gagamitin pero ang daras ko Wow, I like the colorway. Does it all come, all the 2,500 units yes. come in this color? That's... You have the number here at the back and the weight. It's probably, I don't know, 1,100 grams or one, two. Now that's the base helmet. This is the KYT helmet model that is FIM homologated. So they have two more FIM homologated, but this is one of them. So you can use this in MotoGP. It's very nice. So we can see here a change of design in vents, a, a more aero, a more race style vent. It still has like the TT course. It also has that cantilever, but a more aggressive styling to it and more technology, I bet. At the visor, there is a wrap right now for protection for the future owner. I can see that it is the visor is very big, allowing for very good field of vision, field of view for the rider. So again, with the same number of vents here at your mouth, at your forehead, and here at the top of your head. So it's again very light. Uh, I thought that helmet was light, but this is something else. <laughs> It also comes with the same D-ring. That's what I appreciate. Yes. A helmet in the entry level shares the same safety features as the top tier models. That's something that I really appreciate about companies like KYT is that they're not here to just sell you something limited edition or sell you their brand. They sell a standard in which you would like to have when you're riding your bike in terms of safety and security. So kudos to KYT for implementing the same design safety features. From the entry level, 
up to their top tier helmet. So very nice. I really like this. Let's. Yeah, no? It also comes with a smoke lens. This one. Let's say you're riding during the daytime, you can easily switch. But this one is something else. I was saying that I won't use this that much, but I can. I have to use it every day. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to point out, since I already see the sticker here, is Asian size and fit. You know, there are a lot of helmet brands out there, but do they take into consideration the proportions that we have as Filipinos? I believe KYT wearing the TT course in the same medium, I believe it's going to be the same fit for me here. I'm not going to put this on because I would like to keep this pristine and smelling real good for the person that's going to have this number 744 of the limited edition helmets. But yes, if you are looking for a helmet that is fit for you, fit for you, satin, no Pinoy. I believe KYT really takes a step further into to improving that technology and fit for us Filipinos. KYT helmet started, uh, unlike other helmets, no? KYT helmet started from a race design going to the street. Unlike other helmets where they design it for the street going to a race design. So yeah, let's look at some of the other helmets, but uh, we won't be unboxing them as anymore as they all come in the same box. We just wanted to unbox this one because I love it when I see a special box, something that looks really different from the rest. So many thanks again to KYT for having us. Right here in front of us, we have most of the KYT lineup. Some helmets here, not yet available in the market. These two, in fact, they may be soon available and they are race helmets. I, I want to show you the, the Filipino line. We have a certain designer from Thailand that designs exclusive Filipino helmets for us. So this is one, if you notice, lahat ng Filipino exclusive may Philippine flag. So one line, is a manufacturing line sa KYT is only for Philippines. We heard earlier from KYT, there will be a Marvel themed set of helmets. So for you Marvel fans out there, you better watch out as KYT will have a lot of offerings for you guys. Go. So so the Philippine design is not only exclusive to the TT course. This one's the NFR. It's a touring helmet, the one that has a visor. It's a little bit heavier, but it's designed for touring. So you don't have to interchange your, your visor. So here we have another one of the Megalodon shark inspired it's NFR also also another one another NFR is the the Biomech robot <laughs> it's an NFR also what I can see is the the paintwork is very very good it's not a four footer but a one footer you can get really up close to these helmets and you can say these are really premium designs really premium styling and I guess anyone that would be seeing you riding with these helmets are sure to take a second look they also come in different materials. So here we have the tri carbon, the ultra light carbon. Uh, the three carbon elements woven into one helmet. Very light. This is the one that's being used currently by our super bike racers. The KR1. This is my personal helmet. This one is carbon fiber, but with titanium reinforcements. This one also, the limited edition, is a triple carbon also. Then we have the thermoplastic TT course, which is very light. Can be compared to uh, triple carbon. For example, uh, the other jackets, the motorcycle jackets, they have titanium here. It used to be the design way back 2016 or something. We use metal. But somehow the thermoplastic came out and it works good. So instead of putting titanium sliders, they replaced it with this thermoplastic. Thermoplastic, it's very strong and flexible. With this material, they built this. That's why it's so light. And it's, I bet it's as durable as well. Yes, because uh, it's, it's not glitter, it flexes. So, hindi siya pasap sa mibia. So, let's say when you, when you slide with the thermoplastic, it's like grinding this. The material inside, when you press it, it's like hardened bubblegum. You know the bubble gum you chew on it, you put in the water. May konting give, pero matigas siya. Masa yun yun, bubble gum, chinu mo, binigit mo sa pader, after ilang years. <laughs> yeah. Ganun na yun. Pag matanggal at yan na coating, ganun yung material na nasa mo. So hindi siya blitted. So it's very nice to have that technologies and all of the other technologies put in onto these helmets. Again, keeping in mind that all of these helmets from the starting point up until the most expensive one, they all have the same level and quality of retention the d-rings yes. that are found in all of these yes. helmets and that's what i really love about yes. 
KYD. And what's important is the safety rating. They are all ECE, European standards. Others just have extra for, for the FIM, for the, for the race star. But all of these, including the entry level, is ECE rated. So if you were to get one of these helmets right now and walk out of here, what would it be? That's a trick question. <laughs> I use everything. I have this, I have this, I also use this, I also use the NFR. I use everything. Well, the uniqueness is Chevrolet, the KR1 and this one. The comfort and the safety, they're all the same. So I use them one helmet a day. Well, for me, as someone that's really wanting to get into this, I guess I'd start with this as this is into my price point, but I would definitely see myself riding this. I do love the colors. Uh, they really stand out. Yeah. And also, it's very racy. Savior Simon races in Moto3. This is replica helmet. You'll see the presence of KYT from Moto3, Moto2, to MotoGP. They also have presence in European CEV, FIM Europe, FIM Asia. So, sige na rin. Tara! Let's ride! Let's go! So again, thank you so much KYT for having us here to check out all of the latest helmets that they have and also the limited edition ones. I'm sure you guys are very excited to see these out in the stores nearest you. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. We have Tito Iñaki's Ride in Tandem. We also have him on the Perfect Drive magazine. Hi, Enzo Mistosa. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you dislike this video, please let us know in the comments below. And as always, Ride safe. Ride smart. Ride aware. Ride protected. Yun na yun. Dahil itong produkto. Sunod naman yun. Next time naman. YSS, Motul, 